All right, YouTube, what's going on? Jay Athens back again with another video. I know it's been a minute since I did a video, but let's drop one today. And uh, let's talk about the markets right now. And we're going to talk about Euro, or we'll talk about New Zealand. Currently looking at these two economies right now. And um, hold on, let me fix my chair. Hold on, hold on, let me get you all right. Let me get you all right. All right, so currently talking about these two economies right now. And... This is what I usually do for my private members in the Slack room, you know, for the members who took the macro course. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can join and uh, come get the knowledge. So usually every week we talk about certain currencies. We want to look at monetary policies every uh, every meeting that a central bank has. So usually what I do with the members, I meet with them every week and we look at a uh, we look at some reports that I leave for them. And let's talk about Euro New Zealand. And put in the comments what you guys think about uh, Euro. We had a meeting today from President Lagarde from the ECB. And I will say this. She was, um, oh, let me make sure I'm not muted. All right. So she was, she was very careful with her words. And through that, through her being careful, I think that led to a, like a small bullish tone in the markets. But overall, guys, if you're looking at your screen, you can read it right there in front of you. Um, basically, at the end of the day, ECB, they're, they're bearish, man. They're bearish. I, I got a bearish tone on them besides what she's saying. And <clears throat> the funny thing is this. Here's what I don't understand. Their previous inflation target was 1.9%, and she upgraded it to 2%. Now, that's not, of a, that's not a big change. But the thing is this. Also, what's funny about it is, if you look at their GDP from a quarterly scale, we see that um, they're still in the red. So they're not even close to their core inflation target. She said 2%. They're still at like, what, not even half a percent. I could be, you know, could be wrong. I'm not even looking at the data right now. But you get with the drift where I'm going. And on your screen, what I usually do is I update the members and I let them know what is the tone of the central banks, because that's important to know, you know, to give a good value on a currency. So basically she's going to put more pep in her step, more pep in her step, essentially is what she's saying. She said interest rates are going to be remain at the lower bound, more pep in the step. I mean, that's more bond buying guys. So with that being said, just to sum up my, my idea on Euro without going too much into detail, I think Euro is bearish. And when you align that with, um, with, New Zealand, that's a currency I'm watching right now. Reason being is because they're kind of reacting fast about their, their policy changes. Um, their inflation target was between 1% and 3%. It Well, it shot out of 3%, 3.3%. Now, I know it's a much smaller economy, but they're still making the move, you know, nonetheless. So with that being said, here's Euro's updates right here. It's a bunch of neutral tones. It's a little bit of bullish right here, you know. We, we saw that coming. So that push on Euro that was up to the upside, I think that was based off, you know, their forward guidance or changing their commitment to the inflation target. But at the end of the day, you're lower, you know, actually, we actually had, um, what was that news that dropped just at 10 o'clock? Consumer confidence for Euro. They were expecting a little bit better from a negative situation, but guess what? It went down 4.4% on the negative side. So, Things don't look too good for Euro. And when you align that up with New Zealand, let's scroll down. Let's give a scroll. Now, here's New Zealand monetary policy. As you guys can see, guys, it's all green. And like I said, inflation shot past their target. They're moving pretty fast based off that change. And they're expecting interest rate hikes. And before it was about 70% chance. Now they're saying about 90% chance that four banks are saying, you know, maybe three interest rate hikes by the end of this year. I think Governor Orr, you know, the one, the head in charge, I think he said at least one for this, for this year. So with that being said, guys, you might want to watch Euro New Zealand. You might want to watch it. I mean, Euro, you heard ECB, you heard Lagarde, more pep in the step. If you know what that means, you know what it means. More pep in the step. And we had some reduction on New Zealand's uh, liquidity. So if you guys understand what this means for those who are watching, you know, I usually do this for my private members, but I wanted to give some insight to the YouTube world 
just to give them an idea of what we do here at the Institute. So we're looking for Euro New Zealand um, to the downside. And there's other factors that play into it too. So don't 100% take my word for it. You know, that's my disclaimer. There's other factors. And if you want to learn those other factors, come on over to the Institute, guys. We definitely have uh, some good information to share with you guys. You will join a small community after you complete the training. Uh, we're about 300 members in right now, so we're pretty small, but where we you know we we like it inside you know inside information because I do my best to get the best information out. So I decided to drop this video today to give you some insight on euro versus New Zealand. That's the currency pair that we're currently looking at. So based off that, one monetary policy is clearly bullish, guys. One is clearly bearish. So with that being said, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I just want to drop another video to give you guys some insight, man. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.